Google Notebook LM has changed the game again. It gives us the ability to focus when we are creating content. In this case, doing product reviews. Do your best brainstorming, note-taking, creating, and even thinking. The point here is that Notebook is, or Notebook LM is your personalized AI research assistant. Collaborate. The idea and the focus in this video is about collaboration. When we're inside of Notebook LM, they have added the ability now to link directly to a YouTube URL. This allows us to pull in the transcript, but it also does more than that. And I'm going to show you in this video that it's more than just copying and pasting a transcript because we could already do that. Only public YouTube videos are supported and recently upload videos may not be available to import. I'm going to show you an example of that as well. If the upload fails, they have a learn more here for the common reasons for that. But what we're doing here is we're thinking about product reviews and for example, the iPhone 16 review. Now this is pretty broad in scope, thinking about looking at what is already out there around the iPhone 16 if you were gonna do a review or if you were just doing research for any purpose. But I really, really want the focus to be on thinking about how to use Notebook LM to bring in all these sources specifically these YouTube videos, to have them in one place as we take these notes. So all you need to do is copy these individual URLs. I've taken the first three videos. So this one from Mac Rumors, this one from Tech Odyssey, and I scrolled past this sponsored YouTube ad. And then I grabbed the one from Marquez Brownlee. Now I copied all of those and took them over to Notebook LM. Here you can see one right here, actually the first one. It did not take the transcript. So it said this video cannot be imported, transcript not available, but the transcript is actually there. So what we can do is we can go to that video and this is it right here from Mac Rumors. We can just scroll down here and we can look inside of the description and then we can grab the transcript because the transcript is available. So we can simply do, and I was doing this before and I think a lot of people, you know, were pretty quick and it's pretty obvious, right? That you could just take this and you could just copy it in, but there's a lot more going on inside of adding these sources as YouTube videos, meaning linking to them. So what I wanna do here is go back under notebook guide, or no, what I wanna do is I wanna go up here to sources and add a new source, and I wanna use the copied text. And at this case, right, I'm just pasting in the text as a source for notebook LM to work with. So we have pasted text. So now we have that source inside of our sources. So we have this one and we'll go ahead and we'll remove that source. That's the one where it couldn't read the transcript. So we pasted that text. Now I want you to look at the source guide here. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna show you the source guide. It's gonna do the normal thing, key topics, iPhone 16 Pro, camera control, ultra ride sensor, all these things, you know, they're important if you're doing product reviews for that specific iPhone. Then you'll see that the text here is just pasted down in here. Then you have that as a source. So you have the transcript essentially the words that have been said. But one of the things that you don't have, and again, why this is changing and changing the game for doing these types of product reviews, click on one of the videos. So we click on the video. Then at that point, what we do is we have the same thing, the key topics here. Then we have the text. It brings in the text. It brings in the transcript or it gives us to it in text so we can read it because it can also highlight it. And I want to show you that here in a second. But look, here inside of our notebook, here inside of our notebook, we have the source and we have the video right here. So we have referenced the URL. So when we were doing our research and we found this video and we brought it in, now we actually have the ability while we're doing research, we could watch the video because maybe there's something they're showing and they're saying at the same time and we wanna see that ourselves because when we're doing our own review, we wanna look at a different angle or maybe something we wanna add or show it in a different light, then we can see it and read it and we have that reference point. Because what you do is when you come back to this and you close out this source right here and you're having a chat and I had this chat earlier, I wanted it to give me the top 10 reasons not to buy an iPhone 16. And what it's doing here is it's referencing the sources. So you can see it's pulling up these references and then you can see here in each one of these references what is going on about the iPhone 16 you're pulling all these sources and you're having this conversation and you can click on any one of these and then it's going to highlight it here apple has hit a chapter two with the iphone whether we like it or not so the iphone iphone 16 is a minor minor update over the 15 and you can see down here but none of that stuff on this phone none of it 
what it's doing is highlighting what it says here. It's highlighting the fact that Apple intelligence is not available and it's giving you that information here. Now, I think what will happen eventually is it'll also link here, it'll highlight it, and then eventually it'll be like going up here and linking it to you in the video so you can see the exact thing that's happening to take you back to that use case or that idea that I just had. Because remember at this point, we're just brainstorming what might be possible later. But the idea starts today with the ability to look at this source and have the video right here and then it have the transcripts. Of course, when it pulls that transcript, it also has the timestamps. So eventually it'll be able to highlight that source like it's done here. So when we're having this conversation about give me the top 10 reasons not to buy an iPhone 16 and it gives us these, these annotations and it links and it highlights it in the transcript, eventually I'm pretty sure this will be able to link over to that video so we have everything at a glance, click, right, doing our research. And that's the point. Remember, this is a research assistant. So pasting the text or bringing the transcript in just gives us the text as where now we have the ability to click here on the source, the source of a YouTube URL, and the fact that it brings in that URL and it also gives us the video. So now for my fellow digital or information product folks, folks in the make money online internet marketing space, if that's your focus, let's check out System.io. System.io is a funnel builder, a page builder, a CRM. So there are these reviews here and I'm gonna use this as an example to show you a little insight into if you were getting ready to do a system IO review, remember what you're doing at this point, you're doing research. And before you were just watching these videos, saving the URLs and some type of spreadsheet or a document. Now you have a notebook inside of notebook LM where you're gonna click and you're gonna create a new notebook. Then when you open up that new notebook, it's talking about adding the sources. Here we're going to add the sources because we're focused on the YouTube URL or pulling the YouTube video and the transcript into our notebook. So now we're just doing these reviews. And when we're doing the product review, of course, we're watching it, we're taking notes, but now we're doing it all inside of Notebook LM simply by just pasting and inserting that. And again, we click on it. Now it's bringing the video right into the note. So we have the note right inside of our notebook and we have access to all these to chat with the transcript and again, to watch the video if we want. So we could just press play, have it watch it. And then we go back and let's just say, we wanna bring in all these videos. So we just come back and we're just adding these sources. So we're adding a new source. We're bringing in the YouTube video, bringing in the YouTube video and the transcript at the same time, adding these in and we'll go ahead and we'll scroll past another sponsored ad here. And we'll just grab this link as well. And then what we'll do is we'll see what we get with the chat because now we have YouTube. We have the YouTube video, we have the source and it's bringing in that, that transcript. And of course we can click here and get the FAQ. Then it's gonna generate that frequently asked questions or that list of frequently asked questions from all those videos. And then we're just gonna move down here. We can do some other things. Of course, we have the deep dive. We're gonna generate that because you know, just like me, I like to listen to that deep dive. I don't really buy into the whole create a podcast thing. It's a bit lame in my opinion still, but maybe down the road when this gives you the ability to add other voices and more importantly, more importantly, I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you the ability to interact and have a conversation and then be able to record that or at least allow you to interject or create a note specifically or a source or some type of input into what you want or the direction you want that conversation to go. Because I've talked about this here in a few other videos and I'll link those where I'm talking about Notebook LM. The problem that I've seen so far is that you'll want it to do one thing and I showed this as an example. I pulled in a sales page and it was talking about the sales page, the tactics on the sales page and it wasn't focused on what I wanted it to be focused on which was a review of the product, the information about the product, the product specifically the features and the benefits. And then also I wanted to talk about the reviews or pull the reviews in that were being posted because I want that real information from real people as they're posting reviews and comments and ratings. So another cool thing that I think will probably happen as well inside of the YouTube videos where you pull up the YouTube video itself, it'll have the ability or I hope it'll have the ability. And I think this will be another big game changer, right? Or when we'll see this happen, is that YouTube will bring it in and they're doing a lot of things, bringing in community and they're redoing the comment section. So then they'll have the ability here inside of Notebook LM. And of course, I'm just saying things that I'd like to see and things that I think might happen. 
is they'll have the transcript. So not just what the presenter's saying, but the comments, because then that'd be like going to Amazon and pulling those reviews and then having that context of the presenter and the comments and the comments section about what people are saying and then bring that in and then have that influence all of your information here, all of your notes, your different notes that you're taking, you'll have that at a glance or you'll be able to utilize that to brainstorm and make sure that you're collaborating or you're bringing into your collaboration environment all the different angles and all the different aspects of the product for your product review. And then also, as it's generating this conversation, you can impact that conversation, not just changing the voice or whatever, but just saying, look, I want you to focus heavily on what are people saying in the comments about this product specifically? I don't want it to focus, and I think this is going to be a key part too, I don't want it to focus on what it's saying about the presenter or the content itself, but about the product when we're talking about specifically, and the focus is a product review. So it came back and it finished the audio here, the audio overview. Let's go ahead while we're here, just listen to a little bit of what it brought in from these three videos. Hey everyone, and welcome. We're doing a deep dive today on system.io. It's everywhere you look online, right? And, and we wanted to cut through the noise and really see if it lives up to the hype. It's a big promise, this whole all-in-one marketing platform thing. It really is. So we're diving into some YouTube reviews from people who've actually used it. Smart Succeeder, Everyday FBA. So see, it's really cool, right? It's, it's bringing it in and now it knows, it understands because you just didn't bring in the transcript and it didn't have any way to, or didn't have the ability to put it together that it was from that specific channel because you were just pasting in text. So unless they actually said so in the transcript of, hey, this is my channel name, this is who I am, this is what I think, this is what I've been doing to sort of set up the context, it didn't have that. Now when you bring in the YouTube URL, you're chatting with the actual fact that you're linking to that video and it has the information or inside your notebook, Notebook LM has the information about that channel and then it's looking at that. And again, like I said, I think later on, it'll be able to bring in those comments and things like that. And this is really where we'll be able to go to that next level. But it starts with what we're doing right now, creating these notebooks, bringing in these sources, and it having the ability, again, like I said, to bring in the video and allow you to have all the sources, all the information about the source, the actual video or the point of the video is to have the video itself, the elements, so when you're reading that transcript or it's making that audio overview, it knows about the channel, it knows about like what's going on, or you'll be able to link that together by what you're seeing on the screen with the text that you have in your note versus just copying and pasting that transcript. This is super powerful, and I think this is just the beginning. So let me know what you think and what you're doing so far with Notebook LM in the description or in the comments. And then I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.